Welcome back to the Digital Ledger channel, everybody. I'm Brad Kimes. You can follow me on Twitter at BackupBradleyAbove. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. All right, now, if you follow me on the original channel, the IP Investment Perspectives channel, you'll know that we just got done talking about a metaphor, crossing the Rubicon, that's used quite a bit. And what it really means is the irrevocable commitment to a decision. And uh, I think that we are moving ever more towards that moment. And I really believe that although we're still crossing this river, we're still crossing this threshold, I would remind everybody that this is a point of no return. That's really what it comes down to. So we're going to talk about something today, and it's trade finance. And in particular, we're going to talk about two companies, one Marco Polo and the other one Euro Exim Bank. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. So just a little background here, Marco Polo Trade IX Finance description here. Now listen to the dates on this because this is a very short read. Marco Polo is one of the fastest growing trade finance business networks. It is a joint undertaking with trade finance technology firm Trade IX and working uh, with enterprise software firm R3 and a network of the world's leading financial institutions. We'll get to those in a second. Launched in 2017, 2017, three years ago. Marco Polo is a bank-focused network of platforms offering ERP embedded trade and working capital finance applications to their corporate clients. Marco Polo is focusing on trade, trade and working capital finance powered by an open application programming interface, APIs, and core to blockchain technology. Marco Polo Network is governed by member banks. The focus is on facilitating trade and working capital finance solutions between banks and their corporate clients, creating better customer experience and seamless data integration while reducing cost, time, and risk. Marco Polo enables the creation of trade and working capital finance applications and modules through a collaborative co-creation model of the members. Marco Polo provides a mutual benefits for financial institutions and their corporate clients and evaluates the delivery and management of trade and working capital finance solutions. Marco Polo's approach is unique by working with the leading financial institutions and harnessing collective expertise. Together, we have developed a trade and working capital finance platform leveraging blockchain technology that raises standards for an interoperable business network. So this isn't just the banks. This is the banks working together in a governed situation to be able to connect their corporate client base. Remarkable what's happening here. All right, so look at the contributors here. Very important. R3, BNP Paribas, Commerce Bank, Ing Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, Sumitoto uh, Mitsu Banking Corporation, NatWest, NatExis, at DNB, Bangkok Bank, OP Financial Group, Danks Bank, Anglo Golf Trade Bank. These are some large contributors. Let's keep going. Currently, this just came out about 20 hours ago. First Turkish German trade finance transaction on distributed ledger technology. Interesting. Turkish Is Bank and German Commerce Bank, which we just read has been a contributor for the last three years, completed the first blockchain based trade finance transactions between two countries. This is where we're going here. A major Turkish bank completed the country's first ever international trade finance transaction based on distributed ledger technology, or DLT. This adds another milestone to the country's increasing blockchain efforts. Is Bank first Turkish bank to join R3's quarter platform earlier this year, now became the first bank in Turkey to use blockchain technology on trade finance transactions. Cointelegraph Turkey reported June 5th, using quarter blockchain technology, Is Bank and Commerce Bank secured payments by digitally processing the related data transfer. The transaction took place on May 27, 2020. Is Bank, Sescam, Kure, uh, Europe, GmbH, and Commerce Bank AG in supported trade of laminated glass, laminated glass interlayers from Germany to Turkey 
The pilot was completed on Marco Polo Network, which is known as a collaboration network for securing payments and financing of trade transactions. Its DLT allows foreign trade transactions to be financed securely in a very efficient manner. Transactions are safe and transparent and can be processed in a trusted environment, a press release of ISBank explains. R3's core to technology allowed trade transaction data to be only distributed to the parties along with the workflow of the trade. This way, the settlement process was more efficient in comparison to traditional transactions. Uh, blockchain technology enables a paradigm shift in foreign trade supplies by increasing security, speed, operational efficiency, notes uh, ISBank Deputy, Deputy Chief Executive. All right, so now with the pilot transaction using blockchain technology, we're starting to be uh, starting a reliable and easier period based on matching data in foreign trades. This is really remarkable, guys. This is the uh, last part here, and then we're going to check out a little video from Graham Bright from Euro Exim Bank that is just going to send all of this home, okay? Uh, after having processed uh, various Marco Polo payment commitment pilot transactions last year, we are now very happy to have piloted the ISBank in advanced pre-live version of the platform. We are ensured that the technical uh, performance and validated workflow with our corporates to pave the way to production, uh, said the head of trade product management at Commerce Bank, getting on the radar with many global crypto exchanges such as Binance, Huobi, due to its crypto-friendly regulations. Turkey is also known for its blockchain efforts. In September 2019, the Turkish government has announced plans to establish a national blockchain infrastructure. Since then, the country set to end uh, to the end set the end of 2020 as the deadline for the digital lira, the country's national or national central bank digital currency. So that's exciting. They're also telling you about their CBDC as well. Now let's go here. This is Graham Bright from Euro Exim Bank, and he's going to give you this minute, minute and a half clip here. And shout out to the official Ripple channel here uh, for the video. Um, th I want you to listen to what he says. The Euro Exim Bank deals primarily in trade finance. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to interview Graham Bright for the Kryptonaires documentary. What a wonderful person he really was. So let's listen to what he says here. Very carefully, listen to this. So what's next for us? I'm very interested in how we're moving forward in the market and how we're going to be taking a very, very specific lead here. We will, in our plan is to not only work with payment instructions, but to embed trade finance instructions inside a Ripple message. So that sounds great. What does it actually mean? It means that apart from just the payment and the, and the actual amount and value of a payment, we will be embedding bills of lading, airway bills, the content of a letter of credit, a fund, a security, it could be any one of the current SWIFT messages for any one of the members of the infra whole financial infrastructure. Well, what did he say? Well, I want to catch that again. What does actually mean? It means that apart from just the payment and the, and the actual amount and value of a payment, we will be embedding bills of lading, airway bills, the content of a letter of credit, a fund, a security. It could be any one of the current SWIFT messages for any one of the members of the infra whole financial infrastructure who are then able to use a Ripple-style message to communicate not only bank to bank, Listen. but from one institution to any other institution on Ripple in real time. Now, that makes it very interesting for us that we're already there with a blockchain-enabled environment internally for our trade platform, but to extend that capability to make it very easy to use the whole of the Ripple infrastructure for any type of message. Wow. I got to tell you, shout out to Graham Bright on that. That is just laying it down right there. Look, I, you know, as someone... I have experience doing shipping across the world for products. 
I, 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 have, I have over time made myself a global importer and had to deal with ma getting things manufactured, made in China and have them shipped overseas to the U.S. and get it into a certain port. When he's telling you that they can embed the bill of lading and all the entire steps of the process of trading and shipping something, I can't even begin to put into words for you how amazing that is because if I could it would take me an hour to explain to you how arduous of a task it is to deal with getting something made inspected shipped and all of the proper paperwork submitted in time and I can't even begin to tell you the 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 intensity and the anxiety it can create with customs if you do not have these papers in order the amount and weight of fines that could happen when you don't have things in in order it is very very stressful so uh this is just remarkable where we're going again we are moving into a point of no return and it's because it's not because there's this little flash in the pan hey something worked over here let's try more of it no they know that this has worked because they've been working on it for years and what they've been working on is not just testing it, but building the market infrastructure that gives them access to the entire world so the entire world can participate in this new new way of dealing and doing business. This is remarkable. I have to tell you, I am, I am just blown away, and it feels like we are getting ever so close to this becoming the new normal, and that's what we're all waiting for. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Trade finance, trillions of dollars worth of money going back and forth uh, throughout a course of a year. I can only imagine what that could do to the digital asset space once they really start to settle. Let's not forget R3, which is where Trade Marco Polo came from because one of the heads of R3 actually left there to create Marco Polo using the Corda platform, which also has access at that point for all of its clients to use the Corda Settler, which currently right now uses the or offers the digital asset XRP for settlement. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you like the product or like the content, make sure you uh, hit the like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.